In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create living hinges so we can create foldable items such as this folder right within Xtool Creative Space. So there are a few different types of living hinge and it's mainly down to the aesthetics and how they look. But the main thing to note is the spacing. So if you wanted a small arc, then you'd want something a bit smaller and closer together such as these and these. Whereas something a bit more wider and a larger arc, then you'd want something a bit more spaced out, such as these. And if you're interested in any of these, then they're on my Design Find store. But for now, I'm going to show you how we can create something like this pointed ellipse. So if we just go over and choose Circle, and click and drag and make an oval shape. With that selected, we just need to unlink the aspect ratio, choose a height of 20 millimeters, and a width of 1.5 millimeters. And that will give us an oval shape like this. With that selected, we can come over to the Grid Array tool, open that up. We're going to choose none in the X, and we're going to choose 10 in the Y, with a spacing of 4 millimeters between each one. And I'm actually going to put one extra one in the X, with a spacing of 1. If I zoom in, we now have this array of ovals. And if I now align to center, what we need to do is select them and click on group. Then in this top right one, we can just delete that. And if I select all the ones on the right hand side and group those, we can now vertically align center. And that gives us an offset shape such as this. And with everything selected, we just need to go back to the grid array tool and choose none in the Y. And we're going to choose 10 in the X with the spacing of one millimeters. With that, you can see we now have this offset oval shape. And if we make sure that's in the center by aligning to center, we can draw a rectangle, any size you like. I'm just going to unlink and choose 300 millimeters wide and 150 millimeters high. And with the corner radius checked, we can choose about 10 millimeters to give this nice rounded corner. And all we need to do is choose align center. So everything is aligned centrally and we can select everything and select subtract. Now, if you're running into this issue, we just need to undo and open up the layers panel. And we have the group of shapes and the rectangle. So all we need to do is put this on top of the rectangle, select both again and choose subtract. It takes the top shape away from the bottom shape. And with that, we now have a foldable book box or folder. And if you wanted a bigger arc with more of the living hinge, all you'd need to do would be select this shape before subtracting and use the grid array function again to offset the larger shape. And similarly, if you wanted a tighter arc, you'd just draw a smaller oval and put the spacing closer together. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.